Hi everyone, a little bit of a different guide for you this afternoon. We're going to give you a guide on getting started with some plastic kits. Now, there's lots of different variations of these you can get. Some really great ways to start off some new models on your layout or to really start a new skill for your model railway collection as well. Give you a little bit of a guide today, about 10 to 15 minutes of getting started on how to put these kits together, what tools you'll need, and also some great opportunities and ideas for what kits we have available as well. We've got some links in the description to the essential tools and some of the kits that we're showing here today as well. We are live as well so if you have any particular questions about the kits that we're building here today please do put them in the chat and i will keep an eye on the chat as we go through the session as well i can see we've already got a few people in here norbert roll there thank you very much for joining us today so kit building's been around for quite a few years now and there are many different things that you can make we've just seen the small cottage there but also some really modern looking buildings as well such as this from the wills range the modern industrial unit We've also got some of the larger buildings there, such as trackside stations and buildings as well, that you can build. And it doesn't stop at buildings either. You can build rolling stock, such as the Parkside Wagon Kits in double O, N and O scales as well. So if you're a plastic kit fan already from items such as Airfix or other ranges as well, you can translate this into model railways pretty easily and start bringing these plastic kits through as well. But if you're not so familiar with plastic kits, I'll show you some of the details of what you get in there. So usually a kit will start something like this. And good question already there from Terry Rates to Box Hill is how long will it take to build a kit? Now, it really depends on the size of kit as well and your skill level. Some of these smaller kits can be done in under an hour, but some of the larger ones may take you a little long. But of course, you can stop and start them as you need. You don't need to do them in one session. So they're a great thing to spend a couple of hours on working through and then picking up on your next modeling session as well. So as you see here, you've got a lot of different plastic parts, which are known as sprues. These are all the various components of the kit that you will be putting together as you're building it. There's also a full instruction guide in there as well, which can really help you out, giving you the instructions on which order to put the pieces together. And this is quite a good kit to start off with, actually. This is available from the Wills range. It's a cottage, so you can use that in a couple of different opportunities there as well the crossing keepers cottage or toll gate cottage as it's known but you can really use it for rural locations across the uk and internationally as well and when it's painted up it looks really nice in that colors in that color as well but it does come in a brick and slate finish should you wish to use it as it is so one steamy boy says is there any double luggage two road sheds in these types of kit now there is indeed in the ratio range and there's a lot of different types of kit we've got thousands available to be honest with you we've got a lot there that you can take a look through whether as we said it's station buildings we've got industrial buildings smaller parts as well there's little bits of scenery fences and various other rolling including wagons so there's a heck of a lot of stuff out there in the kit range but it's also great to add a bit of customization to your layout as you can really build these and paint them how you want as well so they will look different to a building you get out of the box so what i'll do is i'll show you my cutting mat and i'll show you the tools that i've got ready to start having a go at one of these kits i will just put the camera down for you there so you can see my setup now, you'll see that I've got some tools already here as well. Now, some of the most important tools are the cutting mat, which is for safe cutting, so you don't damage any of your desk or your furniture when you are doing the cutting. This is made so it'll change the... It won't actually have the marks in it when you do cut onto it as well. We've got this plastic magic glue. Now, this is actually the adhesive, the cement, for joining the parts of the kit together. This comes with its own little brush inside as well. And we've got these fine sprue cutters, which are quite sharp, but they are for making sure the details on the kit are really sort of fine there as well. You can use also, if you wanted to, you can use a scalpel for some of the cutting, as I'll be doing today. And we'd recommend something like the Expo scalpel. All the details for the kits and bits I've just mentioned are in the description as well, if you'd like to order yours. 
So, one steamy rider saying, do the couplings come with the wagon kits? They do not. No, it's the only thing that doesn't. But you can buy the couplings separate for them. You do get the wheels and you do get all the parts needed for the wagon bodies as well. So, let's take a look at the kit we'll be taking a... Giving a giving you a bit of a go today, and we'll start off with a really good kit for you steam era modelers. This is the grounded van body from Ratio. So a lot of these seen around the network, used for various different duties, old rolling stock, as you can see in the image there, used as storerooms and other uses there as well. We'll open up some of the details there. So you can see that that also forms the full instruction so this gives you the guide on how to build them as well using the skills that we will be learning here today and again just a selection of parts there you can see some of the, the finer details there attached to the main sprue and one of the first parts will be cutting these off as and when required to put them together for which we're using all the tools here so we'll start with the wagon body, as you can see here. So you can see there, it's almost in flat pack format at the moment. You've got the wagon ends and the wagon sides here as well. And this will build up to be the full wagon kit. So just before I get started on that, I'll get everything in position. All my tools are ready. I have got the instructions to hand as well. Always good to have them just in case you need them. And before we get started, we'll have a quick look at the questions one more time. Are there any london brighton south coast railway four-wheel coaches that you can build now ratio do do a range of four-wheel coaches that you can build they are based on great western designs but the plastic kits exactly like this and you can paint them up in whatever color you want as well so some really good opportunities here as well like you say there i'd like to try kit building wagons as they have a few wagons i want which may not be available ready to run and that's one of the main enjoyment parts of building kits is you can produce things that you just don't get in model form at the moment a lot of the buildings you can make in your own color schemes and a lot of the wagons as well you just can't get ready to run as has been mentioned so building them making your own it can be a really enjoyable couple of hours or a little bit longer depending on the size of the kits so really good question there before we get started as well from richard svigurski saying which is better plastic or card kits now you do get fans of both out there and to be quite honest with you there really is no better way each way it's what you prefer the card kits don't need so much in the way of the plastic glue you can use a card glue to put those together but again there's a lot of different buildings out there there's a range such as metcalf in the card kits and we'll likely cover those in a future video as well but getting started on this particular Kit. Make sure you've got your knife to hand and of course watch your hands when working with sharp equipment as well and what we're going to do is just slice a couple of lines quite firmly down there to separate these sprues so we can work on them a lot easier and you'll just see there that I am cutting into that now. Make sure to cut through just the sprue there and not the actual side of the van itself otherwise it'll be quite tricky to get back together. I'll just take a few more cuts on that one to get it away there. So really pressing down hard on your knife to make sure that cuts firmly. Again, doing it on your cutting mat to make sure you're not damaging any furniture at home. A couple more cuts and we'll be through. Just takes a couple here. Make sure again, you've got your other hand firmly holding that down. You can find there now that that snaps away and we're starting to get our kit apart. So at this stage, we'll give the sprue cutters a try as an alternative option. And again, just taking those to the kit and snipping there as per so. Again, making sure not to damage the actual side of the building. Well, the, the wagon end in, the shape, in this case, shall we say. And again, we'll just get a quick snip there so we can work on that separately and snip that along taking away all the parts that we don't need again this is shown in the instructions so you know that you are snipping the right bit so just work there again you can do this with your knife or you can do it with these screw cutters at your preference so i'll show you both options 
Now you'll see there that just we've got a little bit of extra plastic coming out of the kit there as well. So we'll just make sure that that is cleaned up nicely, just so it's got a nice connection there as well. And there we have it. That's our wagon end ready to go on the side. So we've got the glue ready. We need to get the other part ready as well. But before I do, I'll just have another quick look at the comments there as well. So Gareth Waite there saying, what glue am I going to, am I going to use? Now, I'd recommend for this the Plastic Magic from Expo, which we do, some from Deluxe Materials, sorry, which we do sell. It is in the description as well. This is a really fast drying plastic cement. So you can put the models together, put this on, and it does come with a brush there as well. Again, just make sure you don't spill any of this on your hands when you're using it. But it does come with a fine brush there to apply it as well, as I will show you in a few seconds. There we go, Medway Peninsula there saying he's already used the plastic magic. Really glad to hear it. As he said there, it's brilliant. I really do like this stuff when I'm building my own kits at home as well. So again, now we're just going to separate the two sides of the wagon body from the sprue. So you can see there the central line going down. We just need to make sure that is cut away. So again, really firmly with your knife or your cutters, should you wish to use them. And again, just some short, sharp strokes with your knife, making sure that's cut through. It often won't go on the first time either. You might find that you need to do quite a few there to make sure it comes away, but you'll start to see that coming away more and more to the point where you can safely snap it as well. It might just take a couple more there to make sure that that comes away. So there we go. We can snap that away now. And it will have a little bit of a firm finish there, but we can tidy that up with the sprue cutters afterwards. Or you can use a file there as well if you'd like. So I'll just put a couple more cuts in that just to bring that away. And as you'll see, that's not quite the best finish there, but we can tidy that afterwards with the fine cutters here. And you can just see that we've got the other bits there now waiting to be attached. So this is a really good relaxing way to be able to spend a couple of hours building something for your model railway that really is yours as well. You can put your own name on it. You can paint your own name on the bottom and you can really add a level of individuality to yeah, your layout. Yeah, and these kits are quite inexpensive as well. The cheapest kits we do come in at around five pounds. The equipment you see here starts at around three pounds 50 for the knife as well, and around the same for the cutting mat there. So it really is an inexpensive way to get started modeling on your layout. And as mentioned before, we do have the details of the various equipment I'm using here today in the description as well. So again, it's not the best finish, I'm afraid. I am going a little quicker than I usually would do, but you can see there that that is now separated and it's ready to join to the wagon end, as you can see there. So what we will do is get that joined now. This is really good time to get our plastic magic ready. This will actually weld the plastic together. So it's great to have something to hold it as per so. You can just about see that there. And then hold it into place. So we're forming a connection as per so. And I will do that down on the cutting mat so I don't spill anything anywhere. Put that into place. Match up where the two bars are there. And then firmly just make sure that joins on. So you can be quite liberal with this as well. Make sure you get a really good coating all the way along the join line there. This little applicator is fantastic to do that with as well. It really does get into the, the nooks and crannies on this. Just making sure that has connected. 
you will find as well as you complete the whole structure there it does get firmer and more secure so it might be a little loose in a second with only two sides but once you have all four on it does come through obviously just make sure as well that you you don't really get too much of this near your hands because it is it can be a little bit dangerous but at the same time you shouldn't have too much of a problem if you are safe as well so just making sure i've got enough on there that should have formed a nice connection there now and i'll just take another quick look at the comments while we're waiting for that to dry so taking a look there so what manufacturer makes the cheapest wagon kits for a beginner now we sell quite a few of the parkside kits as well we sell these in double o gauge there's lots of different types this is the familiar 16 ton mineral wagon of which there was over tens of thousands built for british railways in the 1940s and 50s this also includes transfers as well so the only thing you'll need to complete this is the tools that we see here today and some paint as well so you can see there that our kit has already started to take shape. We've joined that on there, and that is pretty sturdy as well. So we've got our end already attached, and that's joined together purely by the plastic glue that we have here. And the next steps then would be to cut this sprue down into shape, attach the next side, attach the end as well and then work through the different pieces of detailing here. And we also have the roof and further detailing pieces here as well. And as you can see, the full instructions are there. That's what I will be doing next to complete this kit. But it's a really inexpensive way to get into modeling as well. You can really start off with just a couple of bits and pieces and some inexpensive kits as well. You don't need much space at all. I'm working here on an A3 size cutting mat, just at a normal desk. And you can fit and make models like this at home. You can make them on your coffee room table, should you wish as well. With a couple of tools, you can really get some imagination going on your layout. And I really hope that I've inspired a lot of you to start off on these kits. Of course, there's a lot more to it than we mentioned, but the main basics are the skills that I've shown you here today. And you will need no further tools, just the kits and maybe some paints to paint them up afterwards, which we do sell as well. So really do give this a try we really do recommend getting started in plastic kits there's some great ways to occupy a couple of maybe quiet evenings as well building different things for your layout that you might not be able to buy otherwise and you really can add your own personality to them as well with a little bit of paint afterwards and the reward as well it's great to have something that you've done on your layout because then you can really make it your layout as well so any questions you may have please do put them in the comments after the video and i'm glad to have answered some of your comments there as well really glad you've enjoyed today's video and of course i'll see you again next time take care